Workers have been out here since midnight, and they say they'll stay on the picket lines and take shifts until Chevron comes to an agreement with them. Those driving by in cars fueled by this refinery honk their horns to show support for the workers now on strike. The steel workers union made up of 500 members here in Richmond. We have machinists, we have uh, pipe fitter welders, we have warehouse people, uh, we have riggers, uh, we have uh, lab technicians, we have people at the uh, packaging and lubes plant, and we have operators. The union's contract expired last January, but as COVID risk rose and negotiations stalled, they made the decision to strike for the first time since 1980. We jeopardized our health and we jeopardized taking, uh, you know, COVID home to our family members. Uh, a lot of our people did get sick uh, coming to work, but we kept this place uh -huh. running. And then we looked this year and those people who were working remotely are getting 20, 30, 40, 50 and upward uh, bonus, percent bonuses. We reached out to Chevron today to try to get a response to the union claims, but nobody returned our calls. Earlier, the company stated it is fully prepared to continue operations to safely and reliably provide the products consumers need and has said it remains ready to negotiate. Today, according to AAA, a new record as the average price for gas in California inched up towards 586 per gallon. The impact on California gas prices will depend very much on how well Chevron is able to continue to staff and operate the refinery. Union workers are seeking a one-time 5% bump in wages to offset inflation and rising health care costs. And they're also calling for a staffing bump to improve safety and reduce the overtime needed to keep gas flowing to California drivers. In Richmond, Sharon Katsuda, NBC Bay Area News.